Uh, you know, um, reputation has a lot to do with it, doesn't it? Now, over here, there's what's known as the Republican uh, form of government. Yeah. See the guarantee clause? Yeah. Uh, I thought that's, uh, that's what I was living at. <laughs> Now, as I mentioned, if you can be the president, then do that. <laughs> and when I say I support the 96%, I support heterosexuality. Mm -hmm. I think that all heterosexuals should have a lot of sex as long as that's what they... It be some problem with that. <laughs> now, um, the guarantee calls. Yes, <laughs> Republican form of government. Mm -hmm. Now, no, as I said, I'm <laughs> I'm very supportive <laughs> of the actual heterosexual population. <laughs> I know they can marry one another, <laughs> but try and get a divorce. <laughs> I've had some difficulty for the last uh, seven years. <laughs> Think of the repugnant strategies of motion in the court for default dissolution. <laughs> and then not getting notice of court hearings. <laughs> it's really been a problem as a heterosexual because for some reason, no one actually supports heterosexuals. Something you never hear of, do you? Mm -hmm. You have the gay, uh -huh, lesbian, ooch, transgender, and queer community. Yes. <laughs> but you never talk about the heterosexuals that happen to be the, well, you, okay, 95% of the population for those that are eunuchs that are no longer sexually active. <laughs> I know your tree's all wilted up. Is that right? <laughs> but I'm just, <laughs> well, there are certain individuals that shouldn't, should you? <laughs> Now, this uh, guarantee, yeah, mm -hmm. there's a clause there. Ooch. <laughs> now, uh, U.S. Constitution, yeah, now, the federal government ensures for the states both a Republican form of government uh, and protections from evasion or internal insurrections. Mm. I mentioned that, yes. You don't, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. is there some reason why I'm, being obstructed to demand jury trials where I couldn't um, actually uh, advertise that I wanted the best of the best lawsuits. Yes, where I was sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, let's say I were to get my sons today because I want you to give them to me. Yeah. And then I said, well, why don't you buy a ticket to hear what I have to say? Because I'm going to have the best lawsuits. <laughs> and then I'm going to have that authority as a client. <laughs> Now, I'm, well, <laughs> seems to be a big insurrection against the actual, um, the actual, uh, well, it's a guarantee. <laughs> well, <laughs> I support heterosexuality, and I want all heterosexuals to have as much sex as they want to have, <laughs> and I do support having babies. It's a little different than a lot of the eugenicists that want to kill off the population. <laughs> I know, it's not a joke. There's too many of us. <laughs> the planet will not support what I want to do, and that's something. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, let's look at it, okay? <laughs> of all of those citizens of the United States that have had a tax audit, how many of you did feel that the IRS did fairly treat you? <laughs> now, if I went through the tax attorneys, <laughs> they, they, <laughs> the tax attorneys, yep. Yeah. Let's say you're an attorney that specializes in helping taxpayers with their audits with the Internal Revenue Service. The whole idea of you being a tax attorney, yes, is that you have specialized in tax law. <clears throat> now, I mentioned that Internal Revenue Service this morning. Yeah. <clears throat> Why don't you give me the 16,000 individuals that have arresting authority? Yeah. Because I thought a lot of those in the family were on the payroll and they were not declaring the amount of monies they were receiving, <laughs> receiving to make shows, right, corrupt public officials, yes, and violate the laws of the United States. Now, let's say you got audited. And uh, I was talking to a large group of individuals that paid to, have, to hear what I had to say. And I said, do you know how many of those in office that I actually had the legal right to have an audit of their actual... <laughs> 
A lot of Americans, they would buy tickets to hear how many oaths of office in this nation actually got audited. Now, I did look at it. Okay. Usually, it's the last three years worth of tax returns. <laughs> but it is within the jurisdiction of the IRS to go back six years. Yes. <laughs> Now, I just needed to know, of all the audits that the IRS has performed yeah. mm -hmm. in the last, oh, 10 years, yeah, how many of those audits involved tax returns that were greater than three years ago? <laughs> now, I know, let's say you're an IRS auditor, and I haven't paid taxes for six years because I'm being obstructed <laughs> to be able to get any income because the shares on the police department's bitch. Now, this idea of the repugnant strategy of law enforcement to refuse to enforce fraud laws, <laughs> I think it violates tax law. <clears throat> Could you give me all the laws of the Internal Revenue Service? Yes, every audit for the last 10 years and every oath badge attorney, mandatory reporter, civil rights <laughs> coordinator, and all the employees of each school district that have personally been audited by the IRS in the last 10 years. <laughs> And then of those, how many only had to produce the last three years worth of tax returns instead of the last six? <laughs> because the idea of going through six years of tax returns for each and every 